everyone welcome back to my channel sorry if I sound kind of nasally I've been getting over this actually I just got it this nasally congestion thing that's why I'm releasing this so late I was hoping I would get over it in time to do the video but now that it's actually the day that I'm supposed to release I just figured what the heck I might sound nasally but whatever so today what I am talking about is something that is in the subject of things that you don't think about when you lose a child. So obviously there's several things that you know you can't even imagine thinking that you'll ever need to think about. One of those being what I talked about, your breast milk coming in, um, you know, choosing a funeral home to go to or anything like that. Just all of the things that are just so heart-wrenching that you all of a sudden have to deal with as a parent. This is something that comes a little bit later. So it is the hospital bills. And I struggle a lot with those and not because of the money or anything like that. More so because it's something that reminds you of what happened every single month and every single month without fail i get like a slap in the face like oh you have to pay these hospital bills but you don't have your baby and like i said it's not even about the money the money is whatever but it's it's really hard when you start getting those bills and they have your child's name on it. I see them come in the mail and it's addressed to Atlas. And that is a struggle for me because if I would have been able to bring him home, those things wouldn't even matter. And it just really makes me so upset. And this, this past time that I had to pay all of those bills, I have it in my phone for all of the different payments that I have to do. Um, it really got to me this month and I think it's because one of my particular bills because you know how you get them from the hospital and then certain doctors private offices that they bill from and whatever one of my bills came and the total was for 1200 and it's one that when I had called on they had said that they didn't do payment arrangements there but you had to pay the full amount within 90 days and then after that you get charged 19% interest and I thought that was really ridiculous at first but well I still do but I was like okay well I'll pay my other ones and then you know I'll wait to pay that one so when I ended up paying that I paid that one this month it just really like struck me hard and I was just so upset I just was like crying in my bed because I was just thinking like how unfair this is how completely and utterly unfair like how can places like that charge when something went so wrong or even if there was nothing that could have been done I just feel like there's got to be like some kind of program in place to where the doctors or the hospital like donates their time or donates their resources because if it doesn't happen as often as they say that it doesn't that shouldn't be a big deal at all like donate that time do it pro bono after the fact because that would save a grieving parent so much stress and it's like a monthly reoccurrence like a monthly slap in the face that you just don't you know you don't have your baby and I just got really upset because we were fortunate enough to have people, you know, raise some money for us and everything. I mean, it didn't cover everything, but it covered, you know, like headstone and the cost of the plot and things like that. Luckily, the funeral home donated most of the things other than that. So that was just about 3000 but um the hospital bills, I mean, I have them right here, like, there's all those, and then there's all these, like, it's no joke, and, like, 
what what about those parents who don't have people who raise money for them? Luckily on everything else, we're able to pull out a line of credit from our house and, you know, meet those payments so that it doesn't go to collections. What about those poor parents who don't have that kind of a thing? And my heart just like broke for them because how is an office going to charge 19% interest when you can't come up with $1,200 in three months? Like we're paying about 350 on our other bills in total with all the payments and then with that one you'd have to pay three three hundred and you know seventy dollars or whatever in order to make the twelve hundred by the three months like that's almost seven hundred dollars more than seven hundred dollars every month extra like people these days a lot of times don't have that and so like my heart just broke for everyone in this situation and it's just so messed up like an hour before recording this, I was just thinking, like, there's got to be something in place. There's got to be something that can be done. And obviously, I'm not going to go to the hospital that I went to to talk to them about it. Like, I don't even want to set foot in there, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe there's, there's something that can be done. At first, I thought, well, maybe I could start, like, a fund so that parents who go through this you know, can have donated money from people to help them pay the bills, but then I'm like, no, 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 no. Especially in situations where things could have been, like, prevented. Ugh, even not in that situation. I just feel like the hospitals and the doctors should donate their time. Like, it's, it's just mind-boggling to me. And, like, we got bills pretty soon after we left. It was like, oh, we had a heck of a time getting medical records, but um, they were fast to send bills. Like, it was unreal. Unreal. And every time I got one or still get one, it's just like crushes my heart. It's just one of those things that you don't think about that you're going to have to deal with. And every single month, it's just a reminder. And it sucks. It sucks so bad that, you know, we're paying for having a baby that we didn't get to bring home. Like, <laughs> that is so freaking effed up. Like, it's awful. And I don't know, it's, I feel like there's something that's gotta be done with it. I'll, I'll brainstorm and see if there's something maybe that I can do as far as implementing something, at least here in some of the hospitals nearby me. It's something, I don't know. I just feel like it's so, so messed up. Like. Ugh. And I won't even get into details for like what they charged me for Atlas because it it was like he was being charged the same amount of like the same dollar amount that I was being charged and like are, are you kidding? Like he didn't need okay for example room and board like his was forty two hundred and mine was forty eight hundred like what that doesn't even make any sense at all like none. I don't know it's it's just crazy to me and how how much it is I mean yeah I have I'm lucky enough to have insurance but the total that was charged is close it's coming on close to 60,000 before insurance which is just insane in freak insane and yeah so my heart just breaks for everyone going through this that you get a bill every single month or several and it's just a slap in the face, a punch in the gut, it crushes your heart every single time. And just know that, you know, I'm thinking about you and my heart goes out to you and I'm so sorry for anyone who's having to go through this. It's just the worst. It's the freaking worst pain. It's the worst. But, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of all I wanted to say today. Today was kind of more of a rant or and the battery died right before I was ending so <laughs> anyway um yeah sorry about that whole long thing but uh thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will just talk to you guys in my next one bye